In this video, I'm going to give a short tutorial on swim lane diagrams. The topics I'll be covering are what is a swim lane diagram, the elements of swim lane, some rules related to creating swim lane diagrams, where and when swim lanes are used, the advantages of swim lane diagrams, and how they are different from DFDs. I'll end this presentation by showing how swim lanes can be created in Microsoft Visio. So what is a swim lane diagram? Swim lane diagrams are process workflow models. What is a process workflow model? A workflow model shows a sequence of steps that are carried out by each participant in a process. So basically, a swim lane diagram is a type of process flow model that features divisions or lanes, where each lane is assigned to an actor. So swim lane diagrams show what activities are done, by whom they are done, and in what sequence they are done. The, the diagram may be arranged either vertically or horizontally. But no matter how the lanes are arranged, they always display information in a chronological order. What are the elements of swim lane? So broadly speaking, the elements can be broadly categorized into two sections. The first is the actor and the second are steps. So who is an actor? An actor is a participant of a process. It can be a person who's playing a role, an organization or department, a job title like a salesman, for example, a holding area like an inbox or outbox of mail, or an information system like a student information system or even a machine. And the steps are the activities performed by the actors. So here we see a sample swim lane diagram. This diagram is for the application process for, for driver's license. We see here that the actors are listed on the left side of the diagram and the activities performed by each actor are listed in the respective lanes with arrows showing the flow of work from left to right. So now let's discuss some rules that we should keep in mind while drawing swim lane diagrams. The first rule is how to name a process step. The format I use while naming a process is verb noun format. And the second rule is the direction of flow. So the flow lines always enters a task box on the left side and exits the box on the right side. So these rules will become more clear when we draw a sample swim lane diagram in Visio. Now where or when are swim lanes used? Swim lane diagrams are used by business organizations when they want to study a current process and want to improve on a current process. So these diagrams can be used to show both the current as-is as process as well as the proposed to be process. So basically, these diagrams are used for improving a process. So this leads us to the advantages of swim lane diagrams. Because these diagrams are clean, easy to follow, they help to identify multiple actors or phases in a system very easily. So stakeholders and others who may not have a lot of knowledge of a process will be able to quickly identify the actors responsible for each activity. Second, since this concept is quite versatile, it can be applied to a number of diagrams, like for example, UML activity diagrams, or the BPMN diagrams, or even general diagrams. And third, because they, they, because they display so much information clearly, swim lane diagrams are very useful in identifying the redundancies or problem areas or even inefficiencies in a business process. So they can clarify not only the steps and who is responsible for each one of them, but also how delays, mistakes are most likely to occur. So in this way, we see that swim lane diagrams 
are a very useful tool for business organizations. So how do swim lanes? Uh, so how do swim lanes differ from the FDs? First, we know that swim lane diagrams are process workflow models that describe the flow of work through the system, whereas DFDs show the flow of data through the system. So this is the basic difference between swim lanes and the DFDs. And second, whenever there is a workflow, there is also some data that is accompanied with the workflow. But if there is a data flow, it does not necessarily mean that there is an accompanying workflow. And another uh, difference between swim lane and DFDs is that DFDs show only the flow of data in a system. Whereas swim lanes show, in addition to the flow of work, it also shows who is doing that work and when that work is being done. So they are much more comprehensive than DFDs. Now I'm going to draw a very simple high level swim lane diagram in Microsoft Visio. So I open Visio, choose cross functional flowchart. The example that I'll be using now is the same application process for driver's license. So we see that the swim lane already has two lanes for two actors. And since I'll be drawing a horizontal swim lane, I need to expand this uh, page. So I'll start with uh, listing, I'll start by The first actor is the applicant of the driver's license. And I'll also add a few more lanes. The second actor is the DMV clerk, the Department of Motor Vehicles clerk. Third actor is DMV knowledge test system. So this is the software that is going to uh, record the oral exam, that is going to record the written exam. And then is the DMV driving uh, examiner who's going to take the um, driving test, the behind the wheel test. So once we have the actors listed, I'll start with the process. So the process starts with the applicant who gathers all the required documents. And while naming this process, I'm going to use the action noun format that I discussed earlier. So the name of the process will be assemble required documents. So this is in the action noun format. Then once that is done, is going to submit documents. This is going to be entered by the DMV clerk into their system. So enter applicant information. After this is done, the applicant is going to take the written exam, take written exam and this exam is going to be evaluated by the DMV knowledge test system. So evaluate written exam. Then after this is done, 
the DMV clerk is going to compile the results. Compile exam result. The applicant is going then going to take the actual driving test, which is behind the wheel test. Take driving test is the name of the step. And this is going to be evaluated by the DMB driving examiner. So I'll add a step here. Evaluate driving exam. Now after the applicant passes the exam, he's going to pay the fees. Pay fees, then process. After the fees are paid, the DMV clerk is going to process the license, and this license is going to be received by the applicant. Now, this is a very high level, simple representation of the driving application process, driver's application process. Now we need to uh, connect these boxes to denote the flow of work. So first assemble required documents, then submit documents. The DMV clerk is going to enter applicant, applicant information. The applicant is going to take the exam. The exam is going to be evaluated by the DMV's knowledge test system which is basically a software then the DMV clerk is going to evaluate the results of the exam the applicant is going to take the actual driving test which is the behind the wheel test and this test is going to be evaluated by the DMV driving examiner then the applicant, once the applicant passes this exam, he's going to pay the fees. The DMV clerk is going to process the license and send the license which is received by the applicant. So we have a complete swim lane diagram in Microsoft Visio. So this is how we can create a simple swim lane diagram in Microsoft Visio. However, if more levels of detailed details are required, they can also be created in subsequent um, detailed, de detailed swim lane diagrams. So this brings me to the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoyed viewing the presentation. Thank you.